How's it going, guys? It is 1.44 a.m. Tuesday, 7th of March here in Japan. We have a past level question for farm slash fizz. Okay, and your identical question shows up on one of the step one NBME &E forms. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, element underscore medical, MEHL man, underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 21 year old woman, she has a six month history of recurrent migraines. She takes no medications apart from occasional ibuprofen and sumatriptan. The reason I said she takes no meds is because oral contraceptive pills are very important part or a very important causative uh, med for hypertension in young women, okay? So anytime someone has headaches or hypertension, you have to consider whether they're on oral contraceptive pills, you gotta ask that. Most appropriate next step in pharmacologic therapy for this patient will demonstrate which of the following combinations of effects. So migraines plus high blood pressure, she's a perfect candidate for beta blockade, namely propranolol, okay? So family medicine question, they just say woman has migraines, high blood pressure, answers just straight up beta blockade on that form. In this case, well, okay, we're giving propranolol, but we're asking about the physio, the step one question that I mentioned at the start of this clip. They just say propranolol in the vignette. They're easier that way. And you just have to know what's going to happen to vascular resistance and cardiac output, okay? They actually have this for propranolol and labetalol, two separate questions. I'll discuss both right here. So uh, real quick, NSAIDs followed by sumatriptan. So sumatriptan is going to be a serotonin receptor agonist. These are abortive therapy only. They're not used for prophylaxis for migraines, okay? Propranolol's classic prophylaxis. In contrast, cluster headache, separate fucking discussion. That's going to be verapamil, not as prophylaxis, non dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker, treatment, oxygen, okay? And then trigeminal neuralgia, that's carbamazepine. So let's just whip the answer choice here. What do we expect to occur with propranolol? So First things first, propranolol is a nonspecific uh, beta-1, beta-2 antagonist. So if we antagonize beta-1, we know instantaneously we're going to decrease cardiac output. Okay, so beta-1 agonism normally increases chronotropy, heart rate, inotropy, contractility. So we're just going to have a down arrow for both chronotropy and inotropy, decrease cardiac output. Okay, so, so far, so good. And then you say, well, what about systemic vascular resistance? There's two ways you can approach this question. You can say, the first way is, well, you say, if cardiac output's decreased, we're gonna try to increase systemic vascular resistance to compensate, a baroreceptor mediated effect. Okay, that's correct. And our answer here is choice C, increase systemic vascular resistance, increase cardiac output. The second way we can approach the question is, if you know that beta-2 agonism, one of its effects is peripheral dilatation of arterioles, okay? That's also a lengthy discussion. So if you simply antagonize beta-2, you're going to decrease dilatation, decrease diameter of peripheral arterioles, and we have increased systemic vascular resistance, all right? So this is the answer, the combination of arrows for propranolol. Labetalol is also asked. Now you need to know labetalol is an alpha-1, beta-1 non-selective inhibitor. Okay, so same deal, we're gonna have decreased cardiac output because we're antagonizing beta one. And then alpha one normally constricts peripheral arterioles. So if we antagonize alpha one, we're gonna have decreased systemic vascular resistance. So the answer for labetalol, not propranolol, for labetalol is choice A here on the NBME exam. And then as uh, the point of this clip for propranolol, it's going to be uh, choice C here. You know the deal, I'm gonna make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.